Hey mate, this is Dr. Dan. In my previous video, I had installed National Instruments LabVIEW and um, the Elvis tools for our BME 214L class. Uh, and that worked great on when I did it for my laptop. Unfortunately, I did this on my uh, desktop as well. And I just, things aren't working quite right. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys some troubleshooting tips and maybe I'll figure this out, maybe not, but I'm gonna at least walk you through some of the steps it would take. So just uh, letting you know, some of the things I was seeing that were weird were like when I would go to this uh, block diagram and add the uh, DAC assistant, it would come up and normally you can go to acquire signals, analog input voltage, and it would tell me like there's some physical channels. Like, so number one, uh, if you don't have the Elvis board connected, it would just tell you like it's not there's nothing there. I do. I did plug in the Elvis board and it, it's still just telling me, please wait, right? And so that's not right. Something is going on there where it's not able to come house, somehow see these channels. So, you know, this is the case that, you know, before I even plug the Elvis board, I know that it was an issue. Um, another thing that happened that's a little weird is when I started the um, Elvis, like the instrument launcher, right? And I wanted to start one of these tools up like the digital multimeter. So I click on that and it looks like it's going to start up, but it's just going to sit here for a long time. It's actually, we're going to pause the video because it's such a long time. And so here's what I get. I get this, the instrument launcher has stopped working. Okay. Whatever. I'll close the program. And then this thing does eventually come up. Now, if I didn't have anything plugged in, I expect it to say no supported devices under device, but I've plugged my Elvis board in and it still says no support devices. And so I'm like, does it not recognize my Elvis board? What's going on? So I actually, the first thing I did is brought up the device manager and you can see, in my, you can just type in device manager in the start menu. Uh, and you can see it does have this DAC device, this NI Elvis two that it seems to recognize. So it seems to be there. Um, so maybe, or maybe not see all this. So that kind of gave me some confidence that, Hey, at least something's working. Like we're going to go ahead and see what we can do is troubleshooting. So the first thing I would do is go to the internet. And one of the things I searched was, Hey, my Elvis not being recognized. And I found this, you know, this forum, uh, one bad mofo seemed to have the same problem. He says, my confused can see the device in the device monitor. There are no devices connected. You know, it says there are no connected devices, right? But I'm a student. They told me to go to forums. So he said, actually use NIM Max and click on configuration data and reboot the computer, right? So we're going to try that. So there's this NIM Max app. Okay, and the first thing I did is just try to like, okay, what about can I see any devices? And it says the database file is corrupt. Refer to knowledge base article. Okay, so I actually already, like I did this already so I can bring this up, right? So I'm gonna bring up and it basically kind of tells me the solution is to go to that and reset configuration data. Okay, just like one bad mofo told us to. So we're gonna go ahead and try that and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but you can see it does, it did kind of list this um, Elvis board eventually, right? But things just seem messed up. So we're gonna go ahead and reset configuration data And saying so reset it require a reboot yes we want to do that because our thing is broken okay so now we want to uh, go ahead and restart the computer and so I'll go ahead and restart and uh, pick up the video and see if that helped us at all okay I'm back after a reboot and uh, I went ahead and started up LabVIEW already so that will make it quicker but let's go see if we can do this uh, instrument launcher thing again and we'll try digital multimeter. And so that suddenly worked. So we'll thank one bad mofo on the internet uh, that it not only launched quickly, but now I have my device plugged in and it can see it. Very good news. So that may uh, have solved my particular problem. Okay, let's go ahead and check out LabVIEW as well. When I do this measurement IO, the DAC assistant. Again, we're going to acquire just some analog input. 
and now it sees my thing and I can select the channel to read. And so this seems to be working. Okay. So that's good news. Uh, now, for those of you who maybe didn't have as good of news or had some other issues, right? I just wanted to give a couple other troubleshooting tips that sometimes help, right? And so one of them is bring up this and I package manager again. Okay, so the package manager is uh, NI's way to deploy like different uh, parts of their program. And so you like, if you want to add add-ins or you want to delete add-ins um, from LabVIEW, you can do that. Um, so let's go ahead and just search for Elvis in the installed. And so it will bring up this Elvis MX, which is our driver. So we can actually click on that and hit repair. Um, I'm not going to do that because my thing appears to be working and I'm not going to mess with anything. But that may be another option for you um, as far as getting this to work again. So again, some of this stuff you may not be able to figure out until you get into lab. Um, because until you have the Elvis board and plug it in. Um, so if you get a chance, maybe sneak it, sneak over into the lab room and try it and just make sure it works before lab so you're not pressed for time during lab. Um, but otherwise, you know, these are common troubleshooting tips anytime you're trying to install software and drivers. You just kind of got to keep trying stuff uh, and, and eventually you'll get there. Of course, if you need some help, I'm available. Uh, we also have an IT person in BME who could help out. Uh, so don't be afraid to ask, right? Uh, you should be able to get this working. Somebody should be able to help you out.